Okay, so in this video, we will look at the so-called monotone convergence theorem, and from now on, we will be referring to this theorem as MCT, the monotone convergence theorem. And the statement is very simple. If a sequence AN is bounded and monotonic, then it must converge. So very simple but very useful result. Now the proof of this result is slightly technical, so we won't prove this result, but we'll at least present the intuition. And you will see that this result is surprisingly intuitive. So if you recall, monotonic means either monotonically increasing or decreasing, so the terms are getting larger or they're getting smaller. In either case, the argument is exactly the same. So we'll be assuming here that the sequence is monotonically increasing. So the terms of our sequence are getting larger as we move further down our sequence. And I'll give you two ways to look at it. Again, thinking of the sequence as first a list of real numbers along the real axis. So let's imagine the situation. And then we'll look at the same reasoning by viewing the sequence as a function on the positive integers. So the sequence is bounded. That's the first assumption. So it must lie between two values for every n, the lower and the upper bound. So every time of our sequence must lie between these two fixed real values, the lower and the upper bound. And as I've said, we'll assume here that the sequence is monotonically increasing. The terms are getting larger. So you can imagine this is a 1. But we assume the terms are getting larger. So a2 will be larger than a1, a3 larger than a2, and so forth. So as we move further and further down our sequence, the terms are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The question is, can the terms grow out of bounds? Well, the answer is no, right? The terms can go up to infinity, as by assumption, the sequence is bounded. So it's bounded both below and above. So even though the sequence is increasing, it can never go beyond u. And so you think, well, as we keep increasing, at some point we're going to have to hit a wall because we can't go beyond u. So the wall could be u, or it could come beforehand. In most cases, the, hall will, the wall will come before u, so assume that we're going to hit this wall. As again, we cannot keep increasing forever and out of bounds, and so at some point we'll have to hit a wall. So you have a 4, a5, a6, a7, 8, 9, 10, a11, 12. And we never go beyond this wall, but we keep getting a little larger, therefore a little closer to it. And so this will be our limit. And the sequence will end up converging to this point. And the technical term for this limit is the so-called supremum of the sequence. So it's really just a wall that the sequence is converging to. And again, to summarize the argument, the sequence is assumed here to be increasing, so the terms are getting bigger. But because we have a bounded sequence, the terms will never exceed u, so the terms can't grow out of bounds. So at some point, even though the sequence is increasing, we're going to have to hit a wall. And you can imagine the sequence crashing against this wall. And so the sequence converges to this point. This is the limit. And this is the so-called supremum of the sequence. That's really the intuition for the monotone convergence theorem. In the case of an increasing sequence, if it were decreasing, it would be the exact same way. The terms would be getting smaller, 
but because they never go below L, they can't be getting smaller out of bounds, but at some point they'll have to hit a wall, so the sequence will crash against this wall and therefore will converge to this given value. And we can look at the exact same idea, but now viewing the sequence as a function on the positive integers. Again, we'll be assuming that our sequence is increasing. And for simplicity of the picture, we'll assume that the terms of our sequence are all positive. So by assumption, the sequence is bounded. So we have an upper bound in U. So we assume that we have a sequence of positive terms that are increasing. <coughs> So you can imagine this being a1, the corresponding y value is a1, then a2 is a little bigger, a3 is a little bigger, a4 is a little bigger, and so forth. But again, the sequence is increasing, so getting larger and larger and larger, but it can't grow out of bounds as every term of the sequence will lie below u. So since you can't keep increasing out of bounds, at some point, you're going to have to hit a ceiling. The ceiling may be u, or maybe a little lower than u. Usually, the ceiling will not be exactly u. So here, imagine that we have a slightly lower ceiling. And so the terms of your sequence will keep getting bigger, but they will be getting closer and closer to this ceiling and in the limit they will approach this value. So this will be your limit. And this is again called the supremum of the sequence. So it's really just the same argument viewed in a different way. The terms are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but because they're bounded, they can't just continue growing out of bounds. So at some point they will have to hit a ceiling, whether it is the upper bound or something slightly smaller. And so in the limit, the terms will crash against the ceiling and they will converge to it. And that's really just the intuition. In our next video, we'll look at a very nice example of the monotone convergence theorem.